Yo, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we have Gabe Wallman. Um, we're here to discuss uh, the T.I. Godfrey feud being crushed after a date, why women have to be uh, great detectives, and how guys can be more fun, and the responsibility that you need to take in your own personal growth. Um, don't forget to follow us on uh, Patreon. It's uh, www.patreon.com slash manschool202. Follow us there. That helps us. Also, check us out on the YouTube yeah. channel. That's right, uh, because we do bonus content on the Patreon. Uh, like this next episode, we're going to have uh, in this Patreon exclusive, we uh, talk with Gabe a little more about having fear, uh, feeling inadequate, how to give off a sexual energy, uh, forgiving yourself and your penis, and changing your language and how that affects you. So that's all great stuff on uh, Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash Manschool202 for bonus content, and uh, we answer all your questions, listener mail. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better male. Better male. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, what's up, y'all? GYB, you get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Nice. Yeah. What's going on, Harry? You ready to rock and roll? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm what a little under the weather. Uh, huh? I was born to rock and or roll. Rock and or? At or, any or, point. or both. Both. You got to rock. If you dog. rock, you got to roll. So it is what it is. Uh, we got a special show, dog. I mean, and I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I mean it. Mm, I'll tell you why, because this is a good friend of mine and fan of the show. We, we always kick it and... I always get, uh, you know, I always get questions and stuff. So this this is gonna be an interesting. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is gonna be dope. This is gonna be dope. Uh, owner of uh, of Stand Up New York. Uh, give it up for Gabe, y'all. Give it up for Gabe. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Hey, thank you for having me. Thanks for coming, brother. It's good to see you, man. It's always yeah, good to see good you. To see you know that. You gotta lean into that mic there. Oh, sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah pull it towards you. Oh, okay, okay. You hear yourself on the headset there? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. You hear yourself on the mic, on the, on the uh, headphones, or no? I think so. I don't know if I can. You can raise them up a little bit. There we go. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, is okay. that better? That's great, yeah. Yeah, um, Gabe, Gabe was a, me and Gabe have a, have a, uh, uh, an interesting relationship. Number one, Gabe, Gabe, uh, Gabe does comedy, but he doesn't, he doesn't get up all, like, he kind of dabbles. I'm, I'm not past my own club, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, John said I could do the mics, but I don't want to, like, I have to come early at five, you know? I mean, I don't That's your own five, club. I God damn. God so damn. I, and, pay, no, I love John. I was joking. But, uh, yeah, but I did, the, I, was doing, I was doing open mics and stuff like that. I'm doing a bringer show in New York Comedy Club next week. Yeah, and <laughs> you're just working it out, figuring it out. <laughs> doing one of those shows, yeah, 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 that I'm doing. You got a whole club. It's weird. It's weird, though. Like, like anytime I see people that run shows, they always have a problem getting on stage. Like, their own clubs. They, you know, yeah. And they so. just don't have a problem. Why do you think that is? I think when, uh, I think when you're, I think I don't. I don't. I don't think I don't appreciate the space that it's right there. I can go on. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I feel. Um, I feel maybe when I don't want. It, I'm like, oh, I. I think it's more of a confidence thing with me, and that's the thing. I think because I feel like if, I'm like, why? Well, I could put you guys on here, do 50 times better than me. Somebody's buying a 12 dollar beer. What the fuck? They gotta listen to me mumble. Nobody understands me anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like so. I don't even. Under, I'll like. We. I'll like leave a message. From, I'm like, what the fuck did you? <laughs> well, it, it's interesting because I. Uh... <laughs> You know what's what's real interesting is because I don't I mean Gabe Gabe's not really a hip hop dude right you know no, really no I'm more uh, Simon Garfunkel uh, uh, fair enough it, fair uh, enough from, that guy what, what, I heard the, they're the trying to be comics too so no, it, it's it's uh, I, I want I want to just cover this real quick Harry uh, so I don't know if you know do you know who Ti is the king rapper king of uh, of Atlanta no. So. Okay. All right, this is going to be kind of, uh, this is going nowhere, so you're going to have to all support right. me on this, Harry. All right, all right. Uh, so, so. Yeah, big, big producer. Big, big producer. star. And king of Atlanta. A little bit Atlanta. back in the day. I don't want to say back in the day, but But still, years. still, still got hits. Yeah. Still, yeah. you know, yeah. old school rapper, 20 years, you know, multi-millionaire, crazy hits. Um, And uh, he uh, he's trying his hand at stand-up. Oh, sure, okay. 
And all if right. he was trying his hand, because we've yeah. all, as comics, we've all had people who, oh, I want to do stand up. We also have all these people who are influencers and shit like that. And they, you know, I'm going to just do stand up. And what, one of the reasons I was asking you about you dabbling in comedy and yeah. that, like, it's almost like you have a different respect for the art form, like, that other people don't. Yeah, I, um, um, I, I appreciate, uh, I'll, back what you were saying before, I feel like comedy is like a lot of stops, like, that people, like, their last stop, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Kind of like, not, not for, not for actors, I mean, for like, let's say you got a guy like Jeremy Piven, or you got a guy like, yeah. uh, but he's not working, uh, so not he's not working anymore. But you know, you could fill up a house. Like it's screech from say so by the bell. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Michael Rappaport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's kind of like you could just you could you could just you could just pick up money just doing so it, money grab. And people don't even know people don't even know you are. Like, I like I like Jeff Garwood on Kermit Dance. I'm not a big fan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he knows you go to Caroline's and fucking talk about the weather. Uh -huh. and I'll get four hundred. I'll get four hundred people. I feel like comedy, but I feel um, I just see there's just so many great comics at the club. And honestly, I don't feel like I should. I don't feel maybe that's my own issues, but I don't feel that I'm really on the level that I throw myself up on a weekend. You know, if there, I used to go up there, there's 12 people there, and one yeah. guy, one guy is shitting, and one guy is peeing outside. You got yeah. 10 guys. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, but I feel like I think comedy is a great art, but I feel a lot of people stand up comedy is also like the last step out sometimes. You know what right, I mean? Right, but it's also I think they. But they, also, they, but also, you never know who's gonna be. You never know somebody could be great. Yeah, yeah, but they also. It's also since it's the last stop. There's a, almost like a lack of respect for it. Yeah, like yeah. You get famous people. Yeah, they so, don't. They don't give a fuck about the light or anything like. Yeah. yeah well, like, the other problem is that that's kind of the industry's fault because we yeah. just let kind of. It's the only industry where we kind of let people do that. Yeah. Like they just you know actors well, who have never done it, seats. yeah, but yeah. but they just show up, so they it looks easy to them, and then we allow them to not. get on stage well, and do it. I think also um, when people um, know somebody from t TV, mm -hmm. um, they're gonna laugh at everything that person says. It's right, like, it's like a hot girl at a bar. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a oh, that's a funny dad joke. You mean the really most foreign joke? She's hot, but she's fucking awful. Yeah, so I feel like, <laughs> I'm like that sounds the, about right. I'm like a very comic yeah. guy, but I mean, there's a lot of comics who will get up on stage right now. They'll say a joke, and everybody's gonna laugh. Mm -hmm. But if somebody else would have said that joke ten minutes yeah, before, got nobody's gonna laugh. But all of a sudden. What that person has to say is such funny shit because you used to jerk off to her in high school, yeah. and that person, and also that person is um, famous. It's famous, yes. Yeah, so yeah, it's kind it's, of it's a, just it's becomes that thing. Yeah, anybody could get up and just do fucking. Well, yeah. let me give you the background. So yeah. what happened was Harry. I don't know if you heard, know the whole story. I don't know uh, the whole story. Uh, all right, so for me a God, bit Godfrey was in uh, in Atlanta and comedian tip t amazing ti. T.I. runs Atlanta. He's like, the and when it comes to rap, he's the king of Atlanta. And uh, he, dude, multimillionaire, whatever, he's been dabbling in comedy for maybe the last three to five weeks. And uh, Godfrey had, ho had headlined, and then Tip came in, and he was like, I want to go up. And, and Godfrey had already did his show, finished his show, and then he went on after Godfrey headlined. Like, he just... And I'm sure Godfrey killed. He always kills. Oh, he destroyed. So he, he's my favorite. He's one of my favorite comics. Right. So I'm sure he does. Yeah, the, that was he the, so the, the show. She just ended there because yeah. he's he's great. People can go. And home. The, yeah. and it's also there's a there's a comedy etiquette that the headliner like if you and you know this had like if you yeah. you open for a headliner, it's what you ask him what time you're doing. Right. You ask yeah, him yeah. when do you go up. You right. ask him because if I could do a guest spot, if I could come through. If yeah, I, yeah, you just courtesy. don't. And and there's you know I understand that people are are, are um new novices. new or whatever yeah. novices. But but there's an etiquette. I mean, this guy is a major. His his rap catalog is amazing. No YouTube rapper who just who you know 14 15 years old would come to his concert and yeah. go yo I'm gonna do my record right you finish your concert and then after your concert yo let me go up and, and, and bless these motherfuckers no matter how many followers they have and so there's an etiquette right. to to it but I also think that even in the context so he wanted oh sorry cut you off. no so he wanted to go on out so he, he, he did he did he just, go on the after. show was over and he just walked up on. he no he Godfrey was on and he I don't know if he was on or he Went up. He must not have been on, because how would he have known that he was there? That so this was, was there? before. It must have been. I gotta ask, make the because I don't know how would he know that that he was 
there. Uh, that I don't know, because he would have gone right after Godfrey. Yeah. Yeah, that I yeah. don't know. So he was like, I want to go up after. And, and so once Godfrey mm. fucking levels the room, which he consummate professional. Yeah, for sure. Then to he let a guy the time. Yeah. who's been doing comedy three, four, five weeks. I don't care who, who he is. But I get that he's famous and there's, a, like you talk about Jeremy Pivens and all these other right. dudes who are just actors and they're famous to a certain, they're doing comedy. Um, but there's still a certain etiquette. And I think they don't know the etiquette because they haven't grown up in the in the business. And so they T- feel they're at that level that they can... Yeah, they the feel like they can just yeah, do yeah, whatever, yeah. and then it's kind of like when Julia Roberts at a bar. There, she has an ID on her, and they're like, "Oh, um, uh, do you have ID?" She's like, "You know who I am." Right. I'm like, "Oh, hey, that's the level where you're going to be fucking right, ID." Right, right, I mean? right, kind of, right, right. Well, and I think that what we do as comics is we don't. I mean, we do do the fame to a certain extent, but we also do to the funny. Like, there's guys who are funny who you just don't. You know, you, yeah. it doesn't matter whether they're famous or not. They're just, they they yeah, have they're the status, whether or not people get it or they don't get it. And comics know that, too. So it, it was funny because I heard uh, what you call it was talking about. Charlemagne was talking about an MV from The Breakfast Club. They were saying, well, if Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock came and wanted to close, you know, go on after. But he, they'd still they probably would, ask. But they wouldn't one. do it. Yeah. I don't think they would do because the etiquette is not that the you go up. The show is the rest. Right. You're the headliner. I don't think that. I've I think they would go it, before. I've only seen it once. I think After? Seinfeld. Yeah, but he was working on like a five minute thing, and then also he he arrived as the show was ending. Type yeah, yeah. Of, type of deal. Yeah, yeah. And it was at Caroline's. It's New York City, which yeah, is yeah. different. But right. that's even that's the one time I think that. But it's I don't ever think happened. that that they would do that. No, I don't I think, think comics. I don't care how famous to come. If you know the guy's headlining, you don't come in. And if you do want a guest spot, you pop in ask. early. Yeah. You ask. You go on before no, the headliner. Respect, and, for sure. And, right. Especially a comedian who's so great like Godfrey. Also, that right. He's yeah. a twenty-five year vet. I can yeah. see Chris Rock doing it, maybe or at or, the end. At the end. When they're working on stuff, even I mean, I'm not saying they would. It, it's not possible. I'm it's just rare. saying that that yeah. I think they would have the respect. Sure, yeah. Of the of of I like I've been at Gotham's, and Jerry signed with Jerry who was working on his stuff. He would be like, "Yo, Jerry might come, so we might slide you back if we know he's coming, and then you close after Jerry." Which is, you know, I don't give All a right. fuck who I. But the point is, and I'm and we're not talking about a headline show where a guy where I'm doing an hour. We're talking about a showcase show, which really doesn't matter. He could go last if he wanted to. But even that, they don't usually do that. Yeah, so, that's, that's almost unheard of. So Godfrey didn't watch T.I. And he basically said, I'm not going to watch somebody who, like, why am I watching a three-year comic? I don't care that right. he's a great, if he's rapping, I'm all about it. But he's a three-year comic. We don't even watch each other half the time. Yeah. Like, you don't watch your contemporaries unless you really like them or whatever yeah. you surely unless, they're, unless they were saying oh could you sit in you know i'm going for this or right what do you think of like that yeah oh you, sh- you right, unless yeah. you ask and yeah. you surely don't go watch underlings yeah they if they yeah. don't ask yeah, you yeah. you don't watch you don't, watch you don't and you nor do you want to Did you see in the bar it's like comedians are at the bar you don't have yeah. comedians going to the manager saying yo could you get me in to hear this comic i'll, I'll wave the drink for a moment <laughs> right right like right years. it's it's, yeah. Yeah. it's it's just not something we do to the, to, to ti I, I i'm quite sure he doesn't understand the etiquette no. but in a way he should understand the etiquette because if, if it was rap and he had done a whole concert if he did a he also knew who Godfrey was. He was well yeah. aware of who. Yeah, he he knew Godfrey. And knew also that, the status of Godfrey. And he knew that like Godfrey was the GOAT, he, how good he is, and this and he, that and the he other. He says it himself, that Godfrey's legendary. Yeah, and and so I'm not trying to do this, but you also, you also have to know the etiquette. And I get that he doesn't know the etiquette, but, you know, you also have to talk to a motherfucker in order for him to know the etiquette, yeah. especially if he's actually serious about doing comedy. So there's a whole, the internet is crazy right now because everybody's like, Godfrey and, and then Tip gave a, he did a video to kind of go in at, that he's losing respect for him. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't disrespectful, but it was like, yo, you played just, you know, kind of right. you played. So anyway, which is interesting because if it's any time that we're, if you're the, the, if you're the, the killer on the show, you sit at the bar. Right. 
you don't watch. We don't even watch our contemporaries. Or you're downstairs, not even at the bar. Some, right? Yeah, or you're outside, yeah, or outside smoking, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah. you do. You don't watch, and you don't, you know. And then yeah. you, your young comics who come out to your host will go, um, "Hey, uh, you know, there's a girl in the front row from Austin. Man, I don't give a fuck. I don't need you. The, 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 I don't need yeah. you to Some map need out. It, Some people need it. Not, not you don't need it. I don't need not it. Not the killers. Some people. No, no, Godfrey don't need it. Darnell no, no, don't no. need it. I don't need you to tell me. Instead of and saying I, there's one lady from Sweden who had one glass of wine or the heck were there. There's yeah, another guy who has diarrhea. He shit three times during the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't yeah. need you to fucking. And I know, but but I also understand from their perspective. Because usually at the bar, you and I are talking about women and women that you dated. Yeah, like yeah. that's <laughs> usually what we're doing. We're going, you're shooting questions at me. I'm exactly. smoking and fucking. <laughs> and we're hanging out. So. It was just a, a weird kind of thing that blew up. I just feel like you got to understand that there's a respect to the business that you, especially a business that you're going to come in. And the other thing, it's difficult. It's difficult for um, comics to, like famous comics, to get good because they don't understand time. Right. And I also, they don't even... They're saying shit that they think is so funny because, like we said before, everybody's they laughing, so they can't take. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know, it's like talking. It's like yeah, you know, like I was saying before, with like a girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but yeah, they have no idea. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like somebody cool right right now. I don't want to like say somebody like screech. You passed away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but he's a comp, but he's I, stunk. I, yeah, well, I mean, you can <laughs> say what he And he had stuck. a bad attitude. Right, but I was saying, he like, he would come on stage and people would laugh. Oh, the guy from fucking, the guy from. And, they get excited. And people get so excited, and he was doing some jokes. As I was saying before, if somebody else's material, it's just so, it's just so different. Yeah. So it's hard for them to test the level. And then if they do 10 shows in one show, people are like, oh, we don't even know who this guy is. Right. And then oh, he fucking bomb. bombs. Yeah. He's like, and then he thinks, like, oh, because a lot of comics, if you're a great comic, you know, you mean it's sometimes the crowd and you know, whatever you know what I mean? I think he was he felt the crowd was uh, he thought it was a shit crowd. I'm like, no, your jokes were no, shit. No, your jokes, yeah. You well, know? here's it the funny thing. Yeah. Gabe owns the club. Gabe sits in the club. He watches comics. <laughs> Gabe watches me do stand up probably between three and five times a month. Yeah, like we'll see me. Oh, go up. Always destroying. Always doing new stuff. Always the working room, in the room. The room whatever is you shit. Do. Yeah. Everybody's tired. A whole bunch of young comics yeah. going up. Everybody bomb. There's people are leaving. Blah 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 blah. No, when you're closing the show, I'm one thing. When somebody gets their seventeen dollars sprite after eighteen, I'm like, right, God, yeah, right. Somebody better bring it home. And what they don't understand too is the people always ask why the the, the strong guy has to close because when the strong guy doesn't close, people don't want to pay their bill. I don't know if you know that. Mm, I say. That. They, they get, so, they're less likely to want to pay the bill. Well, it's funny because they, I like it wasn't God, very good. No, I, last comic st- is yeah. most important. He's going to be yeah. close that. Ch- yeah. Well, the, like yeah. this is what the bouncers at Gotham would say. Really? Okay. Oh, they say, look, oh, thank God you're here, because when you don't close the show, this is what people I'm saying. don't want to pay their right, bills. Because oh, so what happens is, wow, you, they've gone through the whole show. Uh, maybe you had you booked some people who you saw on Fallon who just stunk, or some comics who who you thought were good or you didn't have, and then you get the bill, and you're talking about seventeen bucks like for a soda, and it's because the drinks are. That's you know, not, but you get, you get free refills. It's it, it's also it's also let's be honest, it's it's just like if you go to the theater, what you pay for a rum and coke at the theater because it's entertainment, it's going to cost more. It's ex- I, yeah, exactly. I think it, sorry to cut you off, but I was saying I think if people are having a good time, also they don't mind for that drink. You know what I mean? Like right. You can see the wait staff going around. You want another one? If the comics go well, they'll get that third beer. If not, if the comic sucks, they're nursing on that cider. Really? Or they're nursing so on so the you've bottle. noticed you, that as you, a club owner, that I noticed it's the club owners and comics. When the audience is laughing, having a good time, you know what I mean. More right back, people are drinking more for sure. Otherwise, people yeah. look at that nine dollar beer like it's like it. They, well, it's human nature. Everything, yeah, you're having a good, everything affects yeah. what good time you're having. Yeah. It affects the taste of the food. If oh you're yeah, with good oh yeah, company. Sure. Yeah. You know, yeah, no, it, I so, agree, yeah. somebody's sucking everything. The temperature, but the even matters, if, the, yeah. even if the show has been shit, but right. you close the show strong, it's gonna be better than people it go. Oh, that was fun. All right, I'll pay the yeah, bill. Yeah. Whereas if the last guy bombs, people are like, fuck this. Look, fucking, it was me and my girl. It's $120. I had some popcorn and, some, and a pretzel, pe- and yeah, some yeah. shitty pizza, and mm. a, and a, and a hundred, fuck this, you know. And then they don't want to pay the bill. And that's why the booking the closer is more important than anything else, right. the host and the closer. 
Yeah. The, and the MC, yeah, MC is very important. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So it's interesting because people will like the people like the show, like you said, because they're having a good time and they and they, yeah, they're having a good time. They're full. It's things are flowing more. You know what I mean? Like the comics, the, the girl's laughing. I mean, he's laughing. He thinks he has a bigger chance now because she's going to get her third martini. Right. You know what I mean, he's, right. And she's in a good mood and a, she, whatever, whatever. She's in a good yeah. And which she, is which is interesting because you bring it back to that because I bring it back to the same way. If if you're in a situation, you're in a, on a date, and the date is going well, there's an interaction, it's fun interaction, you good yeah. conversation, so on and so forth. Naturally, the, the mood is different, and, and because the mood is different, yeah. that mood greases the social and sexual wheels where you, yeah. you have a much more prob- probability of getting laid. Or, but I, uh, yeah, I don't want to cut you off. No, go. Um, in my thing that I say that I feel like the Jeremy Pippin sometimes because like I'll go I'll, I'll be talking to somebody at a bar or talking to a girl at a bar or talking to somebody at, or somebody at a party and they're laughing and everything I say I'm like oh maybe because he's the owner he wants to get in so right. I'm thinking that shit right 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 and then you you know what I mean but you know you never I I went on, I went on a date last week with the girl who was I thought it was an incredible date just for three hours I don't even drink I had three beers I was very relaxed we right. went out for like, I thought it was most she was gorgeous you know and then I text her she said she said I had a great time you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I text her again, and she's you know, um, kind of just like ignore me, and then say ghost me, you know. Mm. So it's hard to sometimes you're on it. We said like the, so it's hard, so I'm on a fucking date. <laughs> you think it's going great? You know what I mean? You're going. I, I mean, I'm, I'm like well, I'm like I'll get going it. going great for you. It's, yeah. it's so great for me. Yeah. Right, 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 but right. you know what I realize? You could be on a date. You could be thinking it's a, I could be thinking it's the best day in the world, and that girl could be nodding her head saying this is the shittiest day. His teeth are fucking right. yellow. His breath's fucking bad. And if he fucking brings up his comedy call once more, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but it, but you know it's it's interesting. But it's hard sometimes. Like, I don't know. Like, with, I'm a cut you off. But I mean, like if somebody goes to me, I don't know. Somebody's like, oh, that comic is. Uh, uh, when I asked her, I'm like, no, he's the nicest guy. He's like, Gabe, he's, you're the owner. He's going to be nice to you. So it's kind of like that also. Sometimes I don't know if people are being nice to me because my owner or girls are laughing because she's taking improv and she wants to use a theater upstairs. Who knows what, what right, people's right, intentions right. are? Because they see, you, know? see yeah. you as, a, as a resource. But yeah. I think what's interesting, though, is if you're really paying attention, you could tell. Yeah. You could, uh, yeah. If you really focus, yeah, you can yeah. read what's the body the, language, the demeanor, yeah. the energy. What's the tip I should look for next time? Like the number two well, thing? Here's, uh, here's, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I could give you a specific tip. Because something I to, think something to so, view more into that I'm, I don't feel crushed. Because I thought that was a great three-hour date, and then I was crushed for like two days. Why were you crushed? I think it was just a, it was a th- it was a, it was a third rejection in the last like three weeks. Okay, but let me ask you. Oh, so this is so. Uh, I want to talk about that, but I, I, I cut wanna, you off before. No, 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 no. Right, yeah, yeah, I, I, I but that's talk. a good point. Yeah. So I want to remind me, Harry, to yeah. about, about him being crushed. About him being crushed. Oh, uh, uh, so here's here's an interesting thing, is and I've said this a thousand times that women are women are very intuitive. I was just doing a consultation today, and a guy was telling me, you know. Um, you know, he he. This guy says to me, you know, like women really can tell they're real great bullshit detectors, and the reason why they're great bullshit te- detectors that it's built into their DNA. Like anytime they go out on a date, you could be a sociopath, you could be a murderer, you could no. be a rapist, you could. And so her not seeing those those cues that you might be dangerous is is could be detrimental to her health and so women are great bullshit detectives the problem is that, and here's the other thing um you know uh, you're familiar with the whole fight or flight yeah. scenario so you know and we have this instinct that if when when confronted with aggression or fear we either the body pumps blood and and into the muscles right. so we can either run away or or have ex- exorbitant strength to fight back yeah. But what what we don't so if the if the blood and the, the adrenaline is going to the muscles yeah. for this physical action, where is it not going? It's not going to your brain. And so the minute you have any fear, it's the minute you have a fear of whatever it is, could be just rejection. All of a sudden now, or even if any time there's an emotion involved. And you're emotionally, I, I've said this a hundred, you cannot let emotion have a seat at the table. The minute you let emotion you creep into it, your head, yeah. you cut away, you, 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 I would say, I mean, I, this is not science, but yeah. I would say your intellect is cut down by a third. And maybe not your intellect, but you're, you have, so, I mean, 
I don't know how many dates or how many women you've been with or whatever. Not, doesn't even not, it not, doesn't. Yeah. But it doesn't even matter. Yeah. The point is, whatever you've learned in the course of dating women. Like I remember that that the chick that remember the Jewish chick that was that you were dating and she wanted just she just really just wanted a rich dude. Remember? Yeah, oh when, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, like, oh, 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 like you gotta be a little more specific. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> a Jewish rich girl, gold digging. Yeah, yeah. Jewish girl. No, yeah. a vile of yeah. And you know what? And then you become so bitter at you know, and you become so bitter at these girls also. And this girl was being such, a, she was being such a, she was being such a bitch in the beginning. Sometimes for me, it's like a mind game to play with them. Like, oh, is this guy thinks he has money? Make like your multi, multi build, and then it comes like a game because I'm not, you know. And it makes it and make and it makes it it makes it build it makes it build up in that person's head also. So I have like this whole fucking with her. She's like, oh, do you want to get a steak? I'm like, oh, I'm like, let's get a cheap steak. They have this great one here in my house, like $80 lunch mm -hmm. special. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, 80. And then I fuck with her because she's like, oh, $80 is not so much for me, you know, for mm -hmm. her. So you I, start leaving the trail that like. Yeah. You're, you're yeah, like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, if yeah. she's so fucking you're dumb, fucking I'm going to play with her. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or she'll, she'll go, yeah. I think people, yeah. you know. But I, uh, yeah, that girl was a huge, oh, I said, I don't want to buy expensive one. She's like, oh, that's so sad to hear that. You can't afford it. I'm like, and I got rid of that. I remember that night. She was walking out with her Burberry fucking ear things, yeah, yeah. her fucking Gucci shit. And I'm like, I was holding her hand. We're coming back from restaurant. And I'm like, if this is the fucking rest of the fucking life. I her, yeah, though. we dated her. Yeah, we dated her. And yeah, um, and we, yeah, my long street has been really good. We dated for, we dated for eight months. But I think that, and the best thing is that both of us were just so fucking, honestly, so Growing up Orthodox Jewish is so bad in sex, you know what I mean? So I think like we were like two people on the bench. We we weren't ready to play with other right, people. Right, yet. Right, right, right. <laughs> so we were. It was funny because we I remember that night. This is Sorry? funny. Yeah. It, they would. She was like, "Well, we're trying to do doggy style, but I can't get it in from the back." Like, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, "Well," <laughs> and I was like, "Well, Gabe, you know." So I'm thinking about the like you know because what yeah. what's what's obvious to me. Is not. I always try to remove my ego oh. and put myself in the person's feet shoes that right. I'm talking to. Right. So to not know that it's like I gotta go. Okay, what would that? How would that? Like, how could that not be a thing? So I'm trying to put myself yeah. in that. Or and I'm way past that along. You know. But I'm. I'm like okay. And, I, and then I'm suggesting. I'm like, well, when he's trying to hit it from the back, do you guide <laughs> it in? Do you reach back? Do you help him out between. Yeah. Do you? And she's like, well, I didn't try that. And you, like, but she didn't know shit any but way. That, that's that same girl that happened to the same girl. We ended up in the. I said, I don't know if you we ended up in the emergency room together. No, no, for what? Um, Why did you end up in the emergency room? We, Jesus. Yeah, it's a really it's a cr true story, crazy story. Um, we were, we were, we were, we were having, we we're having sex and it was the day that the teacher came over. He's like, oh, you should try these positions. The um, teacher. And, wait, uh, wait, well, hold on, back up. Yeah, yeah, Who's yeah, the teacher? She, some, G, some guy like in GQ magazine. I won't call him a professor. We saw some guy in GQ magazine who said, these are great. Um, if you want sex tips, how to improve yourself. Did you, and you yeah, hired she, him? Yeah, she hired the guy, came to our apartment showing us positions without, and he's like, I want you to put on a, swear to God, two stories. Like, I want you to also put on a cock ring over the condom. And we're having sex. Um, and she was got, he there? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. He wasn't there. He wasn't there in the corner. Like you the, yeah. I thought he was on the side. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play with, with the balls. We're going to fight. We're going to fight, 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 fight. We're going to win. We're going to get him on the run. We're going to keep on the run. Plant your feet. Head, head, head. All right. Come, come, come. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. So he, so that, so then, so that night we, um, we, we put on the cock room. We tried the condom and we're, and when the condom got stuck in her, um, and the cock ring, and we had to go to the emergency room, like uh, in the, the 60s. The and the cock ring? Yeah, got I got to, and, I, and she, we were having, we were having, we were having, and this is the crazy thing, the doctor pulls her arm, and she was so drunk, she was like spreading like that on emergency. Room. She said, do you mind if this guy, he's my boyfriend, he could stay, and he stuck his finger, hand up there, a woman, I forgot who the doctor was, took it, took it, took it out, and she's like, also, I feel like there's something else in there. And, oh, no. And she went in, she, and then she pulls out the cock ring also. Oh, wow. But this wow. is a crazy thing. I have only slept with about 10, 11 girls my whole life. Okay. And out of 10, 11 girls, twice I got the condom stuck in a girl. So I'm thinking, and two nights, two, I had two one-night stands that were hor horrendous. And mm. it's a bit, by average, if I was playing baseball, I'd be like, Fucking bro, I'll be fucking. I'll be selling ice cream at the fucking game. I won't even be on a fucking bed. I won't even be. I'll be a fucking vendor selling cotton candy. They should get food. You know what I mean? Mm, that nobody right, buys. Right. And we ended up, yeah. And then another girl who I had sex with, the condom got stuck in her. And it's funny. I met this girl at a bar about 
three years ago when I was really nervous. She, um, we had a few glasses of wine. She's like, come home to my house. And she's like, can I come home? We went there. And I'm like, she's going to want me to have sex. I'm like, oh, this is not going to be good. I'm fucking I'm Jewish school. I'm like, the worst. I'm like, you're about to have the worst fucking 12 minutes of your life. You know what I mean? <laughs> and this is, the, this, is, this is the craziest thing. She's sitting on my bed and she puts it on the couch and she puts on like that little whist sticks. So that means like she wants to look good. And then she put the Listerine. Oh, in the, God. Yeah. And she blew you yeah, with she, the whist yeah. oh, no. No, 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 no. She put the Listerine in her mouth and. And it was just the worst. And it was just the worst. I just can't have sex with. I'm just so. I'm just so bad at it. I feel like I should. Write yeah, my, but did she? I, and it burned. It burned. Um, the, the Listerine and the. Blister. Oh no, no, she put the Listerine in her mouth. Okay. But, but this girl. But this girl it was just the worst. And it was just. It was just so. And I don't. I'm just. I'm just. Miss her. Miss her. Yes, horrendous in there. What you know? made it the worst? Like what? Um. Oh, I. One, 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 I, one, I couldn't, one, one, I, one, I couldn't stay hard. One, I was just like, one, I was just like, I was just nervous. I was like shaking. But what about her? Did you think? I mean, if you don't keep get hard, I was, yeah, I was, I, I, I think I, I think I, I think I wasn't. I think like if you only have sex when I'm in a relationship and I'm relaxed with a person, mm. then I can. You know what I mean? Oh, if I meet a girl at a bar tonight right here and she wants to go home. Guarantee each other she'll want to fucking. Re she'll call the morning for a refund. She's like, give me some free comedy tickets or something. Well, is it? <laughs> So is it is it just that you you haven't had time to to? Uh... I'm just. I'll give you an example. Am I talking too much? I feel bad. No, no, no. That's, that's what we do here. You. Okay, yeah. That's kind of um, what this is about. Okay, about about four. We got bored of talking to each other. That's yeah. why I bring about guests four, in um, here. About about six six months ago, I had sex with a girl. We met on we met we met on Bumble. We went out about three four times, right? Um, first time we uh, we just went out. Second time we made out a little bit. Third time we kissed, and the fourth time she invited me up. And I knew she want to have sex, and I'm just so bad with it that I said, "Oh, can you do me a f like if she wants?" It, I'm like, "Do you mind just doing missionary?" Cause, or I'm like, "Do you mind sitting on top?" Because it's easy for me because it goes right in; it doesn't fall out. You know, right, right. for me, that's like that's, that's like a first. That's a fucking ideal. Come right. with fucking like candy. It's like, right. And then, but girl, no girl wants to just sit on top. She wants to be rid also, but she's right. a four hundred pound girl. You know what I mean? Right. And then, and then that's a big girl. Yeah. No, she no. This girl wasn't so big. Yeah. But okay. I mean, uh, and then I said, then doing missionary, and then she's like, "Okay, oh, you do me in the back." And I went to her. I said, "Can you help me put it in?" I felt like she's a loser. Like I'm asking this girl. If she, I'm like, I came with my own fucking dick, and I went to my friend. She's a girl. She's like, she's like, Gabe, well, you should just put your finger right in there, and you could have felt her vagina. You wouldn't know it's there. Instead yeah. of asking their girl, like she's customer service at a store, right, right. oh, do you mind putting my penis? Because that may, I, makes me look like an idiot or just like, unprofessional. Right. Not that unprofessional. unprofessional. It was unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you so, ever think that that. I'm could, just so bad at it. I mean, I'm good you, at kissing. Kissing's my shit. Do you, <laughs> do you, do you talk dirty too or no? Uh, I wasn't. Not really. Like it's hard to talk dirty when you when you can't get it in. You, know what I mean? like, yeah, you can't really. It's talk like talking about trash. It's like talking yeah. trash in the locker well, room. Yo, know, because you, I was just thinking you could go grab that dick and put it in your pussy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Which, oh which, yeah, yes. Oh, but I, instead of asking, but, yeah. excuse me, would you mind helping me? You know, like right, that. Yeah, that's it. Right. We, grab, you yeah. probably never ask a girl if she could help you. But yeah, it's like it's like. Oh. I mean, I have said grab that dick and put it in. Right, that's right, true. Right. You yeah, know, right. I, I mean, I probably said that yesterday. Right. Um, but that was really more for I'm, and, and I and I for think showmanship. That, yeah. yeah, it wasn't like if purposes. she didn't. If she didn't, yeah. I was willing to it step was going in. in. Yeah, it, it was, was happening. Going, yeah, this so, is going down. Um, but it, it's um. So so my my thing is, and and it, this is kind of weird. It's like knowing that you it's, it you have diagnosed the fact that you, the sex doesn't get good until you get comfortable. If it, if it gets good, yeah. If it gets good, yeah. But does it get? I mean, when you're comfortable, does it yes, get good? Yes, I'm comfortable. I can have, yeah, comfortable. But I can't. I think you were actually at the bar one night, uh -huh. um, and there was a tourist in the crowd. Right. Um, I don't know if you remember. Oh, the that. Dutch girl. The Dutch girl. Oh, was she Dutch or she was Danish? Or yeah, I knew something was a little off at her first because, like, anyway, everybody was smoking outside. She's like, don't. She was just picking up the cigarettes. She didn't want the birds to eat it. Uh -huh. and, and, and and we and we 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 went outside, and it was probably one of the best nights I really yeah, had. Yeah. A great, and we went. We went home, you know. Uh, I remember, but yeah. do you remember what I said to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I oh, was she like, wanted to share a glass. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she wanted to share a glass. <laughs> she, like, she was like, you want to taste? Or, or I think it was her bottle of water, I think, or something. Or, or, yeah, or no, she, she wanted like a shot. Or, I forgot what it was. She, oh, do you want to zip she my wanted, drink? She wanted, and, and, and this Gabe. Is, this is pre-COVID, pre-COVID. Yeah, yeah, this is pre-COVID. <laughs> this Gabe was like, hell no, I'll oh, get my Jesus. own. And I was like, no, I was, no, I was no, trying no. to explain to him. Yeah. The the fact that she's sharing your bottle of water, 
I mean, you know, like you said, this is pre-COVID. But yeah. the fact that she's sharing her water with you is an intimate. It's a sign. It's yeah. a sign of an intimate thing. If she doesn't like you and doesn't want your mouth, you yeah. know, if you don't want her mouth on you, she probably doesn't want her, your mouth yeah. on her water bottle. And so I was trying to, I was like, and, and she was throwing all these signals, like, left yeah. and right. And I was like, Gabe. Will yeah. you go? I think I said, Gabe, will you go? Dante, and you're, fuck her? You're, you're 100% because we were we, 100%. We were, we were back at the apartment, you know, she's gonna be oral sex and everything like that. And uh, and then then it was time for sex. Like, oh, this girl, it's gonna, it's gonna be a long flight home to Dutch, wherever right. she is from. It's, Dutch. Gonna a, Dutch. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a long flight, it's gonna be a long seven hours. She's a cute little thing, too. Had she was very blonde. Very, oh, she was very attractive at first. I thought, is somebody trying to set me up? Was she Nesco or something? <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel. But she was from she yeah. was from because you don't know the time that that girl was so hot. Do you think she I don't had, think, you know. I, I think she was I don't think it was not, I think it was like no, Switzerland or, or Amps, I forget maybe nah because oh, like, I would have yeah, remembered yeah. if it was Holland it was like yeah. Sweden or or, or you know better. Finland maybe yeah yeah and and she was just she was throwing yeah. she was throwing game at him and I was like hey and you're I, right because she came to like, my apartment she came to my apartment she came to my apartment and, and, she, and yeah we hung it you know mm-hmm. we were and Gabe, Gabe, Gabe has a tendency to mumble, especially when he's nervous. And I was like, Gabe. No. I was like, Gabe. <laughs> I don't, I don't will you fuck? And he was like, I, I don't know. I don't know. You think she likes me? Yeah, 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 I don't know if she likes me. Maybe she likes me. I, yeah. And I was like, and, like, I know. Just fucking do it. I know she likes you. Yeah. you Were you there? No, but that's probably. Hey, I know what I'm doing. I remember Just you calling me the next morning. I got a phone call from what you. Happened? I did call you. What and then, and then, and I think what did she do? She just got up and got on a plane and went back. Uh, to, yeah, um, but the sex was good. You said no. We well the oral sex is good. We ended up not having sex. Oh okay. Right. Sex couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, it's hard. It was kind of like I feel like maybe if she would have like if she was I feel like maybe if she was in town for a week we would have went out like twice before. So, but I can't. Me, I can't ask her to change her fucking flight. No, over. no, no. But <laughs> let me ask you this. And this is this is an interesting yeah. question. If you know that. You need to be comfortable with her in order to, to um, you know, to have sex and to to kind of be into it. Why don't you just say that? Why don't you just why why do you have this need? Why are you uncomfortable with the situation and then you're still following through when this level of discomfort, knowing I, that because the anxiety that you yeah. get. Is is the performance anxiety, and you know the point that, yeah. that you're gonna have performance anxiety and things are gonna go bust because of the yeah. the, the stress. I guess with the, I guess with the wife, you think, oh, this time it'll be different. This time, I'll, this time I'll be, able to... but it's not. It's not. I tried one and I've tried it and, and it does it. You know, but I, but I should you just do be more. Know I, yourself. Yeah, you I should know be, that this. I is should be happen. more upfront. I should even tell a girl like after it's not gonna happen for the, you know, three, four. Not that I don't. You I'm know. like, you know what's funny? I'm like that. Hey man, this is gonna sound weird. It's like I'm like that coming. Hmm. Like I can fuck, but I won't if I don't. If I'm not comfortable with a chick, I won't come. Yeah. Like I, I, I just don't. You know, we'll fuck, 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 whatever. That, yeah. but swing, change position, do all kind of shit, and I still. It'll usually take me even when I'm in sync with somebody. It'll take three, four times before really? I come. Yeah. That's interesting. No, yeah, I come I, every time. Well, I mean, sometimes just talk. I just came now. That's why they call just Harry. About it. They I just call Harry the finisher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I take a job seriously. You start a job, you finish it. That's how I was raised. <laughs> when, when I've had girls be uncomfortable with the fact that I don't come, where they start questioning, like, is my pussy trash? Yeah, right, right, right. right. Yeah, they're like, how come right, you? Yeah. And then I go, nah, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's got nothing not, to do with you. It's not you. I'm. I just. I. I'm. You uh. know, intimacy is important to me. And it's just gonna take some time, you know. This is the process. This yeah. is just the, the sex is gonna still be good, you know. She'll probably get off. I'll probably make her come, or, or I'll figure that out, or whatever. Yeah. But I'm just not, you know. And if I mean, I'm, I've had a couple of times where I have, where where I was so in sync with somebody that was that way. But more times, ninety percent of the time, that won't happen. Yeah. And and um, maybe it's all the scar tissue build up from all the years of abuse or whatever. So I don't fucking what, know. What, what would you so what would you suggest? Let's say I meet a let's say I meet a girl on Bumble today, right? Let's say I meet a girl tonight, right? And she says, "Let's meet up for uh, um, for some hot cider or or, or beer." And do I I, 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 I think you got to stop going out with this intention on anything. 
You also have to go out with have this a good time, intent. whatever just happens. Have, have a good time. You're right. Just have, go out, have a good time, whatever happens. happens. Because otherwise, you'll go, you'll go, you'll go, I didn't meet anybody. In the meantime, you might have met two cool new friends. You're going to meet somebody you hang out with. You try to new. There's so, so many you should. But it's true. Like when I stopped going out to like parties in high school, I think I'm like, oh, I'm always, I just want to meet somebody. Like if you just go out and say, fuck, I'm just going to have fun and what, yeah, I meet yeah, somebody, yeah. it changes the whole attitude, you know? Yeah, but you got to you gotta make a conscious effort to. Yeah. To, to be that way. To I mean, know my body and to know that I'm not You got to know yeah. yourself and you got to be comfortable. And it's okay because, you know, I mean, I, I know there's guys out there who have had sex with girls and, and have never made them come. Yeah. Never figured it out. Never really got to the, in, the, the, the intimacy of it. It's something, I mean, no matter how experienced you are, each girl is a little bit different. And you got to figure out what, and when, what I say is, you know, when I say different right so like it's like say you go down on a girl you go down on a girl you're going down on a girl and some women like direct content uh, direct contact yeah. to the clitoris some women do not like direct contact 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 to the clitoris they want you to lick on top of the hood some want small circles some want underneath the hood i got some, news for you what? sometimes it's different from week to week Oh yeah, yeah. It'll, yeah, it'll change. Post period, pre period, you know. It's, it's but in I general, think, I think what happens yeah. is when you get a bead on it, what change? But it also can be lightly until there's a signal. Like for instance, I've always, I will say this: this is pretty, um, this is pretty general. I'm making generalization, and I know that's difficult to do and be correct, but. Uh, you go down on a girl. There is a, there is an, a, a very unique difference in the change of movement when you're doing the right thing, and that change of movement uh, intensifies the longer, the, the whatever the kind of lingers or whatever the session goes. So, for instance, and I and I found this to be the case every girl as they. As the as the sex as the the, the the contact becomes more and more intense, they will be more intense. Like they'll push up against your face or right, raise yeah, their butt, or they'll tighten like, tighten the butt. They'll tighten their buttocks where they ra where they raise up. So what happens is if you're paying attention to these signals, you recognize it, but you don't. But you also can overstimulate. Which is the other thing you don't want to go, you don't. You, I mean, you want to. It's like what, uh, it's like golf. It's like golf. You want you can't overshoot the putt. Right, right, okay. You got to hit it. So the overstimulate will be she was she's so over, overstimulated that you can't make her come at all. What you want her to do is you you uh, you remember that movie Hitch with uh, yeah with, with Will Smith and he used yeah. to go uh, he would go you go in you he goes you go in seventy uh, percent and you wait for the chick to come forward 30%. So you're aggressive. You're showing aggression, but you're letting her yeah, make definitely. that decision. You're letting her make that decision, and then she moves forward. So the same thing is when you go down on a girl. If you're... Uh, you, you, and you got to try different things. Yeah. But what happens is... You ever use food or anything like that? It's a it's waste of fucking... It, you know, I don't want to clean up no sheets. Yeah. I don't want no clean up afterwards. Yeah. I don't. I want to try. To, I just want to try the ice cream because it was there. This girl's vagina wasn't tasting great, and I'm like, you know what? I'll try my favorite ice cream on it. <laughs> and now That's... I don't eat that flavor anymore. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it was just boy. so. It was just... She spoiled it forever. It's like yeah. when you throw up on tequila oh, and geez. you never drink tequila no, again. I, I no more like... rum raisin for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no more you... pistachio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, but but yeah. It, it's you'll you'll find a girl. Now who... I want to know what flavor. It was. I really want to know. It was, it was chocolate chip mint. Jesus. I mean, how much oh, more do you got to cover it up? How bad was the smell? You yeah, got chocolate also, and mint. It was, also, it was, it was, it was, it was just, yeah, it was really. One, one girl was like, oh, could you go? And I almost, I almost like gagged. But then I realized if you do it somewhere else, it's different. It's different taste somewhere else, also, because if you just if you lick like the top, the yeah, this chick had a sure. disease. Great, I don't know. Like, she was, she was <laughs> yeah, sick. Yeah. She was sick. If she changed the the taste on fucking chocolate mint, let me ask you this, Gabe: yeah, when course, you course. dropped the scoop on it, did it immediately melt? Because that <laughs> that's yeah. a problem. Did it did it sizzle yeah, like? Yeah. Did it, it, it sizzle it, it, like the alien like alien like alien, alien start, blood? Start bubbling because that's that's a big problem. It was a knockoff ice cream. She 
he's talking about. I should get a brand name. Did, it, did it burn through the floor like yeah. Alien One? Like but it was just stuffing. Well, you never had that experience for a girl that doesn't taste good. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, that's happened. It's happened. Yeah. It's yeah. happened yeah. But you know, I'm a, I'm a man. You you work through it. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, girls, girls, I'm no you quitter. Down, you put your head down. You keep going. You get the a close blows. pin. Right. And you, <laughs> until <laughs> your union <laughs> breaks. You head in the game. You wait for that. You you stare at that water bottle in the corner. Yeah. I mean, like, I would, uh, yeah. But I, yeah. It's I, been a long time since that's happened. Yeah. I'm trying to think what I would do now. Yeah. If I, that happened. I mean, you plow through it as best I you can. I once had a girl I say, depends you know, on yeah, how I mean, bad. I'm bad, like, yeah, like, I can't. Yeah. You know, I, I, but it could smell different, depend, not, not depending on the season, but I mean, depending on, <laughs> depending on like. Well, her season. Her season, sure, yeah. yeah that, that can happen. But. Yeah. yeah. But you also, you, I mean, look, if you're dealing with some chick who doesn't know that her fucking pussy smells like hot garbage. Yeah. You probably shouldn't be dealing with it. Like, it, would that, you tell a girl that on a second date or third date? I would if she if I went down on it and it was it was so bad. I would go. I I can't. You gotta. I would be like, you gotta go to the doctor. Oh wow. Is, okay, that's awesome. this is not. Yeah. You know, why don't you do that and we could? Because here's the here's the thing. If your dick don't smell, if you hadn't taken a shower and your dick, she, you she will tell you. Right. Yeah. yeah of course. Not uh, like with extreme prejudice. So I, I think what we, you know, we, you know, you have people talking about equality, 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 but it should be, the honesty should be yeah. equality too. What I was saying is that you, you, you try, so if you have a lot of experience, there's a better chance that you can make this girl reach climax. If you, if you don't have experience, you probably not go, I mean, you can have experience and still not figure it out. Right. But if you don't have experience, you it, you probably won't. You know what I mean? It's not a definite if you have a lot of experience, but you can try multiple things, and then you you but you still got to be present. So what's interesting is the same rule it is about the social, the social aspect of it. You're in gay, like you said, you had a great. Uh, relation. You had a great date. You thought it was so great. Three times. Three. I was three. Oh, sorry, I want to cut you off. No, no. Oh, it's um three times. It was it was like that game Whack a Mole Ball. Did yeah. You play Whack a Mole Ball because it happened three three times. You know what? I'm like I'm gonna go back on sites. I went out with one girl. Right. First date was a great date. Second date wasn't so good. She didn't get back to me. And then another girl who I went out with in the neighborhood. She was a little older. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, it was a great date. She was uptown. I'm going to be a great person to hang out with. Got rejected. And then Is that what she said? Or no, at, at, oh, Her test was, oh, we, two weeks. I'm like, do you want to hang out? You can't go by the it's fucking bullshit. text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the funny thing. Also. So I think it was just like four rejections, like in the same like three weeks. It's kind of like bang, bang, bang. It's kind of like. Like you're saying, this, what am I doing wrong? What, what am, yeah, what am I doing wrong that I'm not getting it? That I'm not not getting a good date or, or, or a second date or a girl. And it's not like these girls are like models, you know what I mean? These are like top models that are they're getting hit on hit by every fucking uh, yeah. guy. These are these are these are girls, you know what I mean, who probably come home, you know. It doesn't really matter though. It doesn't matter Ultimately, because it doesn't matter whether yeah. they're models or not. Yeah, because what you're they have more at, options, but they're it's, it's always going to have more options. You're right. I shouldn't have put it that way. I, I, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't have put it that way. How yeah. you treat them and how you treat the situation. Yeah, I just think I just go on dates with her and I'm laughing for three hours. Think it's a great time. She's laughing for three hours, and then you just get home. And well, I mean, she might have been having a okay time as far as the laughter goes. Yeah, right. But she may not have felt anything sexual. Anything right. sexual. So there's so, got to be a transition. Cause you're right because I do get that a lot. I, I get a lot. I get this text pretty often from people. I had a really good time. Uh, I see it more as a friendship. I get that a lot. Right. I get that. I get, I get that. Uh, you sense like an auto text. I get to my phone. I get that shit all the time. It's an auto. <laughs> oh, no. oh, is it? But I, I so you, what has to happen though is you have to be you got to be aware of of okay so I, I guess I should go into a well little, we'll have to go into Patreon let's go all right but, so plus I want to talk about how he was crushed he yeah felt crushed after the yeah yeah I want to get day. into that too what, what that whole crush thing is um Gabe you want to plug the club or whatever and then we're gonna do yeah. some time behind the scenes on the Patreon yeah 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 uh, I just want to say uh. What's your with, social media? Uh, my my my, so, my uh, social media is uh, that best is to uh, get me at Facebook, mm -hmm. um, and also my uh, our we stand up in New York. We have shows almost every night of the week. Great shows. People coming, great comics coming all the time. Uh, you can check out our website. It's my home club. Home club. Dante mm -hmm. always goes there. It's great seeing you there Friday night yeah. in, the, in the show. Um, 
And um, yes, yeah, Stand Up New York. You can check us up on standupny.com, Stand Up New York on Instagram, and we're, we have shows every night of the week. Mm. And always great, show, always great okay. shows. Thank cool. you. Cool. Harry Talk. Uh, you can go to my uh, my social media at Harry Trajani, and that's where all my stuff is. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, the whole fucking thing. Yo, uh, one-on-one consultations. Hit me at DanteNewell.com. Click on consult. Uh, everything else. Google me, bitch. You know how to get me. Uh, the Dante Nero on Instagram. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual revolutions being podcasted. Don't forget to follow us on Patreon. Uh, www.patreon.com slash manschool202. Uh, support that because if you do that, it helps us out. It helps us keep doing the show. And uh, follow us on YouTube, the Man School. What is it? Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash Man School. No, the YouTube is. Oh, YouTube is Man School 202. Man School 202. Yo, um, I love y'all, man. We out. <laughs>